Adin by this time is a brand uh, organization and these brand organization contributing lots in the health education of this country. Other than government, I think maximum doctors now uh, producing Adin. Adin has got four medical colleges and from these four medical colleges, the doctors they are producing, I think uh, next to government, this is the largest organization in this country to contribute mainly in the health education system. And if you consider health education, this health education not only doctors, there are other sectors of health education, nursing, paramedics and technologists. Are they not only contributing in health education system by doctors, they are also contributing by educating some nurses, some paramedics, some technologists. So, considering everything, Adin is a big contributor in the field of medical education in this country, Bangladesh. Again, I want to say that for females, there is no special facilities in medical science, not in government and not in private. But Adin has taken this opportunity to take the responsibility of educating the female students with that idea, Adin started initially the Adin's Women's Medical College about 12 years back. Now, Adin has got other three medical colleges, total four. Among these four, two medical colleges exclusively for females and other two co-educations. And I think to educate the females, which is the backbone of the country, I would like to say, like that if you want to build a nation, you should build the mother of the nation first. With that idea, contribution of Adin to educate the female, I think it is a good opportunity we are enjoying here in Bangladesh. If you consider about facilities for students, and student facilities are of different categories. In medical science, infrastructure of the college, teachers of the college, and most important, attached hospital of this medical college, these three are equally important to give education for medical science. Considering that point, I think our infrastructure is very good, our faculties are very good and our attached hospital is one of the busiest hospital in this country, especially Dhaka city. So, we can teach our students practically handling facilities we can offer for the students to handle the patient directly that we can do better more than any other medical college in this country and considering everything starting from medical college in the morning and we continue more than other medical college up to 5 pm and starting from assembly starting from national anthem the oath by the students and some discussion and distribution of the students in different categories that is group 1, group 2, group 3 and one teachers selected for every 10 students as a guide that also helps us to maintain a very good environment for teaching especially medical teaching in this country in these medical colleges. Foreigners they usually chose the medical college going through the same thing as I have already mentioned, they see the infrastructure, they see the faculties, they see the hospital related to these medical colleges. Not only that, they also see the result of this medical college, they also see what are the uh, professional, uh, that means I want to say they are uh, passing MBBS, how they are provided in the community, what are the uh, number of students entered into the postgraduate course after passing from this medical college. These are the criteria the foreign faculty, uh, guardian and students they consider and after considering everything. Another important thing for foreign students how they get their facilities over here to stay with good security to get their food according to their choice and finally whether they get support from authorities in the form of they are out of country, out of family, how much support they get from that point of view, these are very big issues. Considering everything, 
they select this medical college for their uh, uh, that these babies to be a doctor who are here. That is again, as I have already mentioned, that is the hostel facilities for our medical college. By the side of the college, there are 12 flats we have already uh, 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 already arranged for them so that they can enjoy these facilities of living in a flat with good security and the, as it is very close to the hospital and medical college they can go walking and even at that time our security give them very good security services. Not only that we have got our other constructed building fully for foreign students already it is close to our medical college. So, they get their food according to their choice from that place and they can enjoy their time over there as because it is fully for foreigners. Whole facilities under uh, uh, that is I want to say the AC facilities are there, food facilities are different from uh, our countries according to their choice. Even in the same hostel students from different parts of the world, so they can take their food according to their choice. That facilities we offer for our students, especially for our foreign students. I think that again it is known to everybody what I am telling that is not the main thing. You see and people are observing in this digital world. Uh, how many students pass from there, what is the rate of passing that means and whether there is any, how many students got the uh, honors marks and everything is known to everybody and when they get admitted they consider everything and uh, as a principle what I want to say every university exam our students getting honors marks in different subjects and not only that in this country 100 plus medical colleges and our position uh, within top 10. And we are trying to improve it and uh, we are trying to develop our uh, teaching facilities, uh, clinical facilities and how to improve them we are trying to develop so that we can go further up to give good student, uh, the students the good facilities to become a good doctor. This is the 12th best we are taking, we are in taking 12th best, already 11th best running and I think this is the 12th best we are admitting this year. Actually uh, what I want to say the newly admitted students they are already uh, selected this medical college for their education. Uh, I think I am uh, congratulating them uh, getting the chance to, to be admitted over here. Once they are here we think that they are our family member and we are uh, very much uh, convinced and we are trying to offer them the family environment over here. and. We will provide all facilities what they are getting uh, in their family, though 100 percent we will not be able to successful like that, mom's food will not be able to supply, but we will try to help them to cope with the situation of new place, new food, new environment, new language, new friends and new education. And we will try our best to help you so that you can become a very good doctor to uh, satisfy yourself as well as your family. Thank you all for uh, giving me these facilities to tell something about my medical college especially for my foreign students. I think they will get uh, lots of information from here.